Yo, what's up, guys? James Carr TV here to get my thoughts on Ken Wisenhunt being named as the Tennessee Titans head coach. Now, to me, this is a good move. Now, it's not a great move, but there weren't any great candidates out there. I mean, you're going to hear a lot of Titans fans complaining, well, we need to get Dan Quinn. Okay, Dan Quinn, yes, the Seattle defense is great. It's great. It's damn great. He's been there for one year, and before that, he was Florida Gators defensive coordinator. Can he be a head coach? I mean, I don't know. I mean, yes, him and Rusty Webster are close friends. Is, does that mean he's a good head coach? Mike Mudchat was friends with everybody in the world. Was he a good head coach? No. Okay? When you look at, yeah, Daryl Bevel, I mean, I don't think they're going to interview him anyway. Other candidates, Mike Zimmer, this guy has been looking for a head coach job for years. I think he gets in these interviews and he just says, no, fuck that, I'm not doing that. I think he says something because no one wants Mike Zimmer ever, except now the Minnesota Vikings want him, so good luck with that. I mean, who else? There were no great candidates, but I, I already had my sight set on Ken Wisenhunt. He's been to a Super Bowl with the Arizona Cardinals. Yes, they only made the playoffs twice in his five years with the Cardinals, or five or six, 2007, 8, 11, 12? I, I think that, no, it was five years, I think. Maybe it was six, okay? But he only been with there two years. Um, uh, he only been to the playoffs two years, one of which he went to the Super Bowl, but, you know, I don't really blame a lot of their uh, troubles on him. They couldn't find a quarterback. Um, their defense was never really awful at the end of his tenure. It was pretty good, but their offense was bad. Kevin Cobb, then they started off 4-0. He got injured, and then it went downhill from there. So, I mean, I'm not going to blame a lot of troubles on him, but I look at two offensive coordinator jobs. I think he did a great job. And that was with the Pittsburgh Steelers between 2004 and 2006. Remember, to Ben Roethlisberger was drafted in 2004. So this means Ken Wisenhunt developed Ben Roethlisberger. Not only did he develop Ben Roethlisberger, he developed Ben Roethlisberger into a Super Bowl quarterback because in 2005, Ken Wisenhunt and the, uh, and the Pittsburgh Steelers went on to win the Super Bowl. So Ken Wisenhunt put that offense in place to win the Super Bowl. He has won the Super Bowl. Okay? None of the other candidates can say that yet. Okay, uh, and, and when you also look at what he did in San Diego this season, he took Phillip Rivers, who, yes, we don't have a quarterback. Yes, okay, fine, we don't have a Phillip Rivers, but he took Phillip Rivers, he took Ryan Matthews, and he made these guys into a playoff team he, uh, on offense. I mean, he, he did that, he quick turnaround for them on offense. And, and what, what I really love about this is this. Uh, he's going to bring Ray Horton, who was the defensive coordinator for the Cleveland Browns this year. He's going to bring him in. They're speculating. It's not that he's confirmed. But they're speculating he's going to bring Ray Horton in as defensive coordinator. And, and I, I, I love that. Because people talk about Ray Horton being a head coaching candidate, him being the defensive coordinator for us. That's great. Uh, so, you know, my conclusion on this, uh, you know, head coaching hires, here's the thing. You can say, oh, it's great. Oh, it's terrible. We really don't know. We really don't know. So that's why I'm kind of in the middle. I think it's good. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's horrible. I don't think you can say with a head coaching hire that it is great, that it is bad. Because it's just wait and see. It's just a wait and see. Wait and see who he hires on his staff. Wait and see how, how he drafts. You know, wait and see. Just sit back, wait and see. The problem is with Ken Wisenhunt. The thing is that why people aren't going to like him, okay? People prefer, like, Dan Quinn, Mike Zimmer, uh, Daryl Bevel. Why? I'll tell you why you people prefer those guys. Because they've never been head coaches. So we, we don't know what they're going to do. But let me tell you something. Two out of those three guys are going to stick as a, as a head coach. I'm telling you. That, that's just it. We, cause we haven't seen it, because we have seen the worst of Ken Wisenhunt. We're like, ah, you know, we, 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 we fuck him. We've seen the worst of him. But we haven't seen the worst of the other guys. Some people are just great ass coordinators, not good head coaches. He's been good as both. He went to the Super Bowl as both. Won the Super Bowl as a coordinator, went to the Super Bowl uh, as a as a head coach, and I like that. So anyway, guys, I've been talking too much about the damn Tennessee Titans. Uh, and we still have a lot of work to do. Uh, we still have to figure out who's our quarterback, who's our running back. Do we, cut, do we cut Chris Johnson? We will, probably. You know, we need to get defensive players in there. But this is a good start. It's about time in Tennessee we have an offensive guy. Wow! A guy who knows how to get a damn quarterback out there. 
and whip it around. That's what I've been looking for because it's I'm sick and tired of that old Oilers, Houston Oilers telling that we're going to a new era of the Tennessee Times, as I said weeks ago, and Mike Munchak was fired. So enough of that Fisher ball. Get out! Because it's no no longer exists here in Tennessee. With that said, James Carr TV, make sure to comment up comment down below your thoughts on Kate Wisenhunt being named as the Tennessee Titans head coach. And until next time, I'm James Carter TV. Check me out on Wednesday for my AFC and NFC Championship game predictions. I'm out. Peace.